is this your new fight? Meaning mm -hmm. before COVID, you didn't talk about vaccines. I doubt that this was something that was on your radar or was it? But is this your line in the sand? Like, this is what I stand for now. Yeah, I mean, I think my fight has always been freedom. You know, I came into this business battling the GOP establishment, really. I was battling Republicans. My issue was debt. My issue was like, why don't they care about the debt? You know, what specifically people, Republicans or just politicians? Well, I in was general? mad because Republicans claimed to care the about the fiscal those things. conservatives. Right. right. A lot of Republicans were claiming yeah. to care about those things and weren't doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. And I saw the rise of the Tea Party movement, and I know they've been vilified. But I went to a lot of those rallies, and a lot of it consisted of regular people who were tired of all of this nonsense. Mm -hmm. So I think you know, freedom has always been an issue that a hill that I'm willing to die. And I have never seen anything like this unfold in the United States of America. I saw what happened. I mean, I come from New York city. Mm -hmm. You can't go into a restaurant without showing a Vax card. This is the United States. So I have a two year old and I look at him and I'm like, you're not doing this to my kid. Like I will get out of here. I will take my money. Not that it's a lot, but I will take my money. I will take what I do for a living. I will get out of here and let these cities that are doing this to people, let them sink, mm -hmm. let them figure out that you can't act this way. So this is my hill to die on, not because it's you know, I, I'm not someone who's like, I'm an anti-vaxxer. You know, that's not my position. My position is, how are we now in a place in this country where someone can't make that decision for themselves yeah. and these pharmaceutical companies that have liability protection, why can't you ask about that? Mm -hmm. Why can't you ask questions and just say, hey, why is that the case? Or what are the side effects? Or, gee, you know, my risk assessment for me is not the same as the risk assessment for a 90-year-old with four comorbidities. These are not questions. These are questions you're getting censored for. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're are in trouble. Are your parents vaxxed? Let me they are. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.